Accurately evaluating the thermal performance of an amplifier designed in Microwave Office is easy with Simic, the template-based thermal simulator for monolithic microwave integrated circuits from CapeSim. To demonstrate this, let's start with this Mimic HPA example based on AWR's MESFET library. This example includes a fully laid out HPA design in Microwave Office and a schematic for a harmonic balance simulation that has the HPA as a sub-circuit. The simulation will give us the power dissipation levels of the FETs. Getting the locations of the FETs uh, into SIMIC is facilitated by this script called Layout to SIMIC. Uh, when you start the script, you'll see a list of all the schematics in the project. Uh, on the left-hand side, we select the schematic that represents the layout. And on the right-hand side, if we want to create a power table, we check this box and then select the uh, schematic that represents the simulation. Clicking Begin Layout creates two windows, one for the layout file itself and another for the power table. Um, and then we have this dialog that allows us to actually uh, indicate which um, components represent the FETs. So if we go, for example, into the output stage subcircuit, um, we see the eight FETs represented here, um, and we can input a template to use for the thermal analysis. And this is just uh, one of the generic templates that I've configured to represent um, the same geometry as the mess fats by changing uh, a few parameters. So once we have a template, we can go in and select um, the fats themselves and add them to the layout. Then we, if we go to the driver stage, we can enter that sub-circuit. There's actually two sub-circuits for that. Um, and again, we need to give it the template that we're going to use for the driver FETs. Um, and this is basically the same template, but just uh, a different number of gates. Uh, and then we select the driver FETs and add them to the layout. There was one other driver sub-circuit here uh, that had two FETs in it. Now these two other parameters in here, uh, the mirror template in X, um, this allows us to uh, treat a half device template as the full device and this uh, parameter gives the offset between the AWR MESFET template and the template, um, the generic template that Simic uses. So we add them all to layout and once we're done we say complete um, and if we look at the layout file we can see the 12 FETs um, defined for input to Simic. And then we can save this data file by saying export and giving it a file name. Um, I'll call it uh, mimichpa.xml. It's an XML file. And then if we go into Simic, um, we can open this file and we'll see uh, all our devices laid out correctly in a Mimic. Now we would need to go in and enter in the power levels and those we can get from the uh, power table. So when we run the simulation we get the power on each uh, FET in the design. Uh, you can see I've already entered, entered the correct power levels here for the output FETs and for the driver FETs. So we're all set. We just say run simulation. And we come back after a couple of hours and we see our result and if we uh, list the recorded values, what we see are the temperatures, peak temperatures on each of the individual uh, FETs in the output and driver layers.